This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. CatBeast.com. We are beast. Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nothing like waiting until the very last minute, but once again, another shoe that I was waiting on to get in has been delayed. So I just went ahead and decided to completely redo this video. It was actually a lot harder than I thought because I did not want to provide two Jordan 1s or two Yeezys. So I just truly picked one model, one colorway, and just went with that. Hopefully you guys like that. I made a 2015 Top YouTubers sneaker pickups. I did it last year for 2014, and then again this year. So I think there's around 28, 29 videos as of today. A few other people said they still had videos to make, and then obviously I will add mine as well. If you guys have one, just make sure you let me know and I will add it. If you guys like this, just go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And hopefully I will be bringing another video if USPS ever delivers by the end of the weekend. Number 10 pickup. This is from the championship or the cigar champagne pack from this year. This is one of my favorite ones of the year. It's the only Jordan 7 that made the list. I got sent out the Marvin the Martian 7s from Jordan brand, but that's not one of my favorite colorways, so it was definitely not making the list. However, this one is one of the ones that I actually purchased with my own money, and it's just a super, super nice colorway. Number nine pickup, I don't know if you can kind of tell the colors are changing. I'm trying to look over my camera to see the mirror behind me. You can definitely see the colors changing on this, and this is the Adidas ZX Flux in the Xeno colorway. I believe at All-Star Weekend, or maybe right before All-Star Weekend, I waited probably, I think it was late April, maybe early April, but I waited until I finally got the restock for retail. I don't know if people are still hyped on these or not. I actually really like them. The only thing that sucks about the ZX Flux is that if you wear it for over time, this is really narrow and it starts to kind of wear down as far as like just your feet don't feel as good on them. Plus, we're spoiled the shit with the Ultra Boost now, so really every one of these top 10s could be an Ultra Boost shoe. Number eight on the list would be the Jordan Oreo 4s. I think this was uh, January, February when I picked these up. I just remember it was the very first huge snowstorm of the year. This was the first remastered Jordan that I grabbed of the year with the $20 finish line card. I don't even remember honestly what these came out to. Jordan 4 is definitely one of my favorite models, so this was obviously going to make the list as one of my favorites. Another all black shoe that made the list this year would be the Pusha T Adidas. This is the black market pair. I really, really wish I could have got my hands on the white ones when they released at the end of the previous year. Prices just kind of skyrocketed on these, and of course, since there was no hype on these, people kind of fell off on them. It's not a shoe that you can pull off with everyday wear, but being a Pusha T fan, I'm not, honestly not that mad. I just, I like having it in the collection. Who knows what'll happen years down the road if I decide to wear it, but for now, I'm just cool with having it as a collection piece. Next one on the list, number six, would be the Saucony Play Clothes collaboration. If you guys are not familiar, this, again, just like with the last shoe, this is a Pusha T collaboration, somewhat. Uh, his shoe brand in Virginia is Play Clothes. He actually has another store as well, but the first one that he opened up was called Play Clothes. As you can see the logo right there. They had a orange, a purple, and this colorway, which I just call it gray. This is the cleanest of the pack to me. This is my only Saucony on the list, but the Play Clothes collaboration is just super nice. Next on the list is the Jordan Brand 72 Intense. I was able to pick this up for retail like most people. I only grabbed one pair, I grabbed my size, and I mean, it just speaks for itself. Still haven't put a sole protector or anything on these yet. I don't know how they're gonna hold up. I don't know why people were complaining. This is honestly one of the cleanest 11s you can have, and being that they decided to go with a white midsole instead of just leaving it all black, it makes it look so much better to me. Number four on the list is the only Jordan 10 that I own. Go ahead and leave a high beast comment. I do not care. This is the Air Jordan 10, and this is the OVO in the white. The black pair is supposedly releasing in 2016, and if it turns out to be like the Pusha T's, I think I'm gonna like the white version more. The hits of the OVO on the bottom, and then also inside you have the Owl. And just quick disclaimer, any of these shoes you've seen, I've already made videos on them this year, so if you just type my name with any of these shoes down below, it'll be the first video result. I went back and forth deciding between this colorway and the Pirate Black, but being that I've already had four shoes predominantly all black I decided to go with the turtle dove colorway such a big fan of the 350s over the 750s 
I just think overall it's a much more wearable shoe. Anxious to see if I'm gonna be able to even pull off wearing a 750. Everyday wear, especially with the Pyre Blacks, it's just a much cleaner shoe. There are particular colorways that I've missed out on and I think are more wearable, like the tans that just released and the Moon Rock. I will definitely be trying to get a complete set together before I do anything with them. Regardless, that doesn't matter because it was one of my favorite pickups of the year. My dude JR, I appreciate you helping me out grabbing these, but this is the Yeezy Boost 350 in the Turtle Dove colorway. I know I'm gonna get flagged for this one too, but the Chicago one is gonna have to take a back seat because by far, hands down, the best Jordan one of the year. I think the Chicago, being how iconic it was, it was definitely one of my favorite pickups, but like I said, I chose one silhouette, one color, and it had to be this one. The black tongue, the way you can pull these off with joggers, with jeans, with anything. The materials used, the quality. I mean, I can't even get enough of this shoe. The off-white, I think it wouldn't even be as going as far as saying this is the best Jordan 1 to ever release. Quality-wise, materials, it is just beyond superb. Very lucky to get these for retail. My sister won the Chicago raffle when she was at Nike Town. Thank you, Lindsay, for helping me grab these. And surprise, surprise, the number one pickup of the year, and not just this particular colorway. This is by far the best shoe I've ever owned in my entire life. I don't even know how you could have made it through this whole year with still not trying it, but in case you haven't, definitely go out and give this a shot. But the number one shoe of 2015 has to be the Adidas Ultra Boost. This to me is just the, it's seriously the nicest shoe I've ever owned. You can wear it every single day and it still looks like it's brand new. Honestly, it feels like a pillow you're walking on. I mean, I've never even experienced a shoe like this before in my life. The first version I got on this was like the OG colorway, which is the predominantly black with like the Concord, great purple, whatever you want to call it, hit on the back. To be 100% honest, the price point is the only thing that held me back because I remember seeing them at the finish line, seeing that 180 and thinking there's no way in hell I'm going to try an Adidas shoe for that much, especially with not knowing anything about it. I believe Fomer and Yoancy, those were the two first guys I saw who got the shoe. I went the next day to try them on at finish line and that's when I picked them up. I believe I have eight pairs of the Ultra Boost and I got a few more that are on the way. The one that I was going to make my top pickup of the year is the one that is still not here yet. I have another one that's shipping from overseas. I'm only going to be adding to the list more in 2016. I hope you enjoyed the list. Let me know below what your top 10 are if you don't make YouTube videos. If you do make a YouTube video, let me know what your favorite is below and also leave me a link to your video and I'll be sure to add it to my playlist. Again, I hope you guys have a great start of the year. Hopefully 2016 will be just as good as it was in 2015. I really, really appreciate everybody sticking with the channel, uh, giving me positive feedback. It's just been a really great year overall and I'm super appreciative of that. Hopefully I'll bring you guys a video here very soon, but until next time guys, I will talk to you soon. Peace.